How you doing? Uh, this is Ryan Evans from Evans Equipment in Remsen. We're going to be walking you through the maintenance and functions of all of the stuff on the VX2680. First and foremost, they redesigned the hood so you can just easy access to get to all your maintenance items underneath it. To open the hood on these 2680s, you would first fold your grill guard down. Then I always just put a little pressure right here. And then take this one finger, move that towards you, and then just lift up on it and the hood will slide forward. Your coolant, your air cleaner. This is your first fuel filter. On this side right here, this is going to be your coolant. Um, your level should be in between those two lines. This is your engine oil dipstick. You will pull this out, wipe it off, reinstall, pull it out again, and the level you see should not be above that top line there. It should definitely be in between. We always recommend get close to the top, but don't overfill. The fill for your engine is right here on top. Your drain plug for your front axle oil. There's one on each side. This is going to be your fill in your check. And it should be somewhere in between here. So when you push this back in, as long as you see it in between here, in between those two lines, and it's going to be hard to see because the Super UDT oil is so fine that it's almost like a clear liquid. But you can see it just by running your fingers. See how clear that oil is? That's your front axle oil. Now on your BX2680 or pretty much all your BX series tractors, there's two sets of fuel filters. You got the easy accessible one up here. And then the second one is going to be right underneath your feet. Now you will have to remove the mower deck to get to it. It's back up underneath here. The silver is your fuel pump. A lot of people think it's a filter. It is not, that's your fuel pump. The filter's back there. So there's two of the same filters and they are directional. So when you take them off, make sure you know which way they need to be installed. There's an arrow on it. Transmission in hydraulic, it's all one. The drain plug for that is right here. The filter for your transmission hydraulic, there's just one and that is right here. To fill those up, you would fill it where you check it. So again, being that the oil is so clear, you want to wipe it off first, reinstall, then check it, and it should be somewhere in between those lines. This is also your fill. BX 1880s, 2380s. 2680s will all fit in a seven foot standard door. Your 23 S's, which is your tractor loader backhoe, will not. They also do have foldable wraps. Over on this side here, they changed it. Now you have an integrated valve system over by your seat. So you can fold down your armrests. Everything's for your front loader or snow blower is functional right here. It's a two range transmission, so you got your low, high range, two and four wheel drive lever here, and your three point hitch and your deck raise and lower here. This, lever, this foot pedal here is your forwards and your reverse pedal. This is your hand throttle. This lever here is your cruise control. So to activate that, you would push on this pedal, pull down on that, as you can see, it locks the pedal into place. To release it, you would just push back on the pedal. Over on this side here, you have your tilt steering wheel. This is standard on the 2380, 2680, 23S's. You will not have that standard on the 1880's. These are your lights, your hazard lights, your single lights, and your headlights. They do have optional work lights, fender mount, and ROPS mount. Right here, these levers here are your PTO engagements. 
So this uh, basically allows you for three settings. This will activate the mower deck or the front mount snowblower. This lever here, if you slide it down to this position here, if you had a mower deck and a bagger, you would use it on your middle setting here. This would be for any rear attachments like tillers, brush hogs, anything like that. It would be down in that setting here. Then to engage it, you would push on this lever and that would engage it. When you go to engage your implements, you want to engage it at a low RPM and then rev it up. You don't want to engage it at a high RPM and just have it automatically just fast engaged. You want it to rev it up slowly and then same thing when you bring it out, lower it down, just don't shut it up. You got your seat belts, your armrest. These seats are deluxe seats, so they will also recline. This right here is your rear differential lock. That lever there should only be used when you are 100% sure how to use it. You want to make sure all wheels are stopped before you engage it. And then when you don't need it, just don't use it. This lever here is going to be your height adjustment for your mower deck. And this turn knob here will allow you to set the three point hitch up in the air and, and will not let it settle. This is your brake, and then to apply the parking brake, you just push on that foot pedal there. To release the parking brake, push down on the brake. Underneath here is your battery. You would just take that off here and slide this off. This will allow you access to all your batteries if needed. You should check for corrosion on a yearly, if not two or three times a year. Make sure there's no corrosion. Underneath there, make sure your battery has a good connection. This right here is your fuel tank. It's 6.6 .6 gallons. You just open this up. We do have some really nice cans here that's easy to fill. Um, you know, you can see Danny or Don back in the parts department. Um, they'd be happy to help you out. So on the BX series, there's four symbols. You have to actually physically hold the key to the third symbol and it'll light up your glow plugs here. In the summertime, you want to do it for 5 to 10 seconds. In the wintertime, you might have to do it for 30 to 45 seconds and you might have to cycle it through a couple times. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please contact us at Evans Equipment. 315-831-3091. Thank you.